As technologies after steam engines were evolving, new designs were coming out as alternative propulsion. First, a gasoline engine was patented, and then a guy called Rudolf Diesel came along, creating a compression ignition power plant. If the diesel engine came sooner, the world could have been dominated by them instead of petrol ones. This could be true for aircraft as well, as gasoline engines were, and still are, more popular speaking of piston units. You don't see many compression ignition engines powering aeroplanes, and these are the most popular of them all. Diesel Jet TDA Diesel Jet as an engine manufacturer based in Italy takes Fiat's JTD common rail units and modifies them for aircraft applications. This TDA 1.9 was actually a 1.9 JTD from your Punto or Stilo. They also make 2 liters and newly V6 versions as well. The unmanned IAI Heron is one of the applications of the diesel jet engine. Austro Engine E4 Diamond Aircraft Industries make some nice little aeroplanes and install their own engines into them. Those power units are manufactured under a subsidiary called Austro Engine, with the E4 being a 4 stroke diesel. The E4 needs diesel or kerosene to run and were already built in more than 1500 examples. SMA SR305 If aircraft is your hobby, the Cessna brand should be nothing new for you. The company exists since 1927 and went through a lot. Currently, they are producing around 10 different models with the 182 Skyline which was in the past equipped by the SMA diesel engine. It is an air and oil cooled flat unit with the FAA certification on hold indefinitely since 2015. Filaird Centurion Filaird Centurion is a general name for a diesel engine series of Technify motors which started at Centurion 1.7 with a displacement of 1700cc up to a 4 liter of the Centurion 4.0. These engines are based on existing Mercedes powerhouses. For instance, the V8 is a reworked OM629 from the E400 CBI. Lycoming DL120 Ever since 1845, when Lycoming was founded, a numerous amount of gasoline piston and turbine engines were built. However, they have never made a diesel engine until 2004, when an aircraft called MQ1C Grey Eagle flew for the first time with the Lycoming DL120 unit. With its power figure, it is comparable to the petrol 6 liter 0360.
Red AO3. Late to be used in marine applications as well, the Red AO3 is a beautiful piece of a piston aircraft engine. The AO3 has twin double overhead cams, twin turbochargers, twin alternators, and with an aluminum construction, it is relatively light, considering its size and volume. It was designed by a Russian guy called Vladimir Reiklin, and even was first tested on a Russian aircraft, the Yakovlev Yak-152. Junkers Jumo 205 This Jumo is one of those two-stroke diesels with two pistons sharing one cylinder. The opposed piston design meant that the engine was very high. Typically, a supercharger was required to run this type of an engine and was able to provide a maximum power of 880 horsepower. The Junkers did produce more of them, like the 204 which was 12 liters bigger but actually wasn't more powerful. Delta Hawk DH-180 The DH-180 by Delta Hawk is extraordinary by a combination of various aspects of its design. It is a V-shaped 4-cylinder 2-stroke diesel with both a supercharger and turbocharger. It was installed in aircraft like Cirrus SR-20 of Velocity XL and it's meant to be upside down mounted. Typically it can turn either clockwise or counterclockwise. Hello. 